from humble beginnings in Holland to now opening a second location. Robinson's Popcorn is coming to Grand Rapids. The new store will be in the Breton Meadows Shopping Center. Benjamin Robinson and his family started the business in 2018 by going door to door asking the community for help. They had teamed up with Big Apple Bagels to cook in their kitchen, selling their products side by side with one another. Now in 2022, the family opened a storefront in Holland, making 12 flavors a day, selling more than 60 total. Now their popcorn is sold across the Midwest. Grand Rapids shop is scheduled to open in July. Looks good so for them, good. right? Good for all of us. All mm -hmm. right, and fast food restaurant Jack in the Box plans to expand into West Michigan. They've signed a five restaurant agreement with new franchisees. The first location is slated for Battle Creek, but no word on where the other four will be. But Jack in the Box says restaurants are planned for Kent, Kalamazoo, and Calhoun counties. They will open over a five year span. Each location will be open 24 hours a day and will offer drive through, dine in, and mobile ordering. Currently, there are more than 2,100 Jack in the Box locations across 22 states. Have you guys ever I have never, never had it. I've never had it either. Is it I don't like, even know what, what it is. I was going to say, are they known for burgers, fries, chicken sandwich? Like, what are we known? Who's Jack? And what kind of box does he live in? Well, I, <laughs> and that's something I guess we're all going to find out. Because I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm eager to find out. Yeah, yes. I want to meet Jack and see what kind of box. Yeah, so <laughs> looking, for, looking forward to welcoming them. Yeah. I know, right? Awesome. Well, a local pup is in the running for America's favorite dog. Bella Bear was re home to a family in Saugatuck when she was seven months old. She's now six and suffering from a hip condition that requires surgery. Owner Mary Shields says if she wins the $10,000 prize, all of it is going to go toward the procedure that's going to cost more than $8,500 wow. just for the surgery. Aww. Yeah. Pause.org is putting on this contest. You can vote on Facebook. The next cut is this Thursday, uh, the 29th. Right now, she is in sixth place. She needs to make it into the top five to continue on. So get your votes out there for Bella Bear. Head to our website, morningmix at fox17online.com to find a link. She's so cute. I she know. And they, like, I guess she like loves to play and run, but because her hip just keeps dislocating, like then she just has to lay down. She's in Ouch. a lot of pain. I know. Oh, poor little cutie. Suffering. Yeah, we got to help her out. Yeah. Yeah, we have to vote for her for sure. Well, besides the butterflies, here's another reason to head over to Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. Two sculpture exhibits will open up on March 29th. These two distinct exhibits uh, feature the work of renowned contemporary artist Paul Vilsky and Jennifer Angus. Their work will transform the indoor sculpture galleries into a space where art conveys with airborne creatures and creations. Oh, that's great. Cool. Be really interesting to see. Yeah. Fun. That's really cool. Look at that artwork. That's beautiful. All right. Well, there are more festivals, if you guys <laughs> didn't know, more festivals that are coming to West Michigan. Did you know that we are actually home to the world's largest pickle factory, but we're huh. also known for producing more pickles than any other state? Wow. And that's why a crowd favorite festival is returning to Southwest Michigan this year. So you want to save the date for the Berrien Springs Pickle Festival. It's officially a go now for 2024. <laughs> Held over the 4th of July weekend, this year's festival will include vendors, the Miss Pickle Pageant, <laughs> the Pickle 5K, Pickle Fling Con. Contest. And of course, you've got to have pickleball to oh, yeah. round it up. Yeah. You can learn more by visiting their Facebook page. That looks like a really fun festival. Yum, pickles. For sure.